welcome back to the channel guys what's going on here we are in capture one and so now we're going to photoshop so let's edit the photo of this model right here okay it's a new year and i just want to wish everyone that has my fans out there subscribers i just want to say happy new year as the year going hope you are doing great all right so let's dive into the tutorial proper I'm going to turn up the before and exposure warning and see we not actually touch this and you can see that we have a lot of things to fix in this image and I want to spend a little time so let's not talk too much let's start with a new few adjustment layer and let's call this white balance why because I want to correct the color of our teeth so I know the image actually blurry right now is because of where I got it from from Facebook and the resolution has actually down. So let's go to the white balance. White balance can be seen in the color or the exposure tool is always there. So come here, you actually click on auto, you can actually, you know, do something meaningful with it. I know this is going to go too bright. So let, not too bright, at least to some extent it's actually okay. Okay, so this is the image we have after the white balance and so so a lot of things have been corrected which is supposed to be white i guess there was some clipping i can see but just a little bit allow that we can leave so let's not worry ourselves about that let's create another one few um, empty adjustment layer and this time i want to work on the skin texture so grab the brush tool and then select the skin all right so i've selected the skin of the model and if I hit M on the keyboard, you can see that there is a light at the right side, right hand side. And I don't want to select that. So you can see that I didn't select that. Also below our uh, nose, I didn't select that. Except this one we're going to actually remove. So let's bring down, select the eraser tool, and then let's erase that from, uh, you know, from the teeth, kind of. And let's see M on the keyboard. So she didn't put up any makeup, that's natural makeup, but I'm just going to remove that also from our, you know, lips and then the upper part of our lips. So I think there's some color right here. Okay, so let's just leave that. Now let's go to the color editor too. It's M on the keyboard, let's hide the mask. And we're going to pick, go to the skin um, tone section under the color editor panel and click on the eyedropper tool the same way we normally do it so if you zoom in you can see that the red skin tone is this one right here the one beneath our cheek so i'm just going to select that and you can see it falls on that side if i select here it's going to go to the melanin you know kind of feel of which you can actually do that let's try something like that let's see increase the uniformity if it's actually going to get black Oh, you can just imagine how that is. So this is just a black melanin skin type. And because of the purple feel, it's not actually going to be original. So I'm just going to reset it back. I want the one on our cheek. I feel like, oh, that's the right one. So take the brush to um, the eyedropper tool again. And then zoom in and then click on somewhere fair. Let's see, let's see somewhere fair. I like this place. Also, the cheek always work fine for me. So extreme end. So this time go to the ear, uniformity, and then increase the slider to get uniform skin tone. Okay, let's take it all the way to the end and let's see what we have. Okay, so that is that. Increase the saturation. The saturation is just to you know make everything more smooth. So because she, this is an high-end photo retouching, I'm going to make everything extreme. Lightness, I'm just going to increase it to make it a little bit uniform. And this is because of, don't take it to the extreme end, it's just going to look fake. I'm just going to find the right spot for it. And I guess somewhere around, okay. Let's leave it at 50 looks, 46, 50 looks okay let's let's leave it at 42 42 or 44 all right so take it up now and um, for the saturation 
it sometimes gets ugly when you introduce some saturation like i said you can just imagine so resetting that i want the natural fear i don't want to have a different type of skin so i'm just going to use this use like that now then for fair skin i like taking it to the back for dark skin i like taking it forward to the right hand side so if i take it to the back you kind of have this type of you know purplish or kind of feel and this one yellowish kind of feel and too much of it is going to go green kind of green uh i see you can see some kind of greenish oh, and i don't want that so i'm just going to leave it somewhere find the right spot for it i don't want that feel let's take it to the right i think i like this one oh which one is preferable okay let's leave it at this this is actually preferable but the saturation uh, the saturating it will give it melanin skin i guess say so, yeah so this skin yeah sweet looking melanin skin but the lightness let's not touch the lightness again this time around turn on the exposure warning oh we have little exposure all right so now that we fix the skin let's see before and then this is our after so one more thing let's go up create a new few layer and this time i just want to work on the exposure so go to the exposure tab and i want to give in some clarity because it's actually blur so not not this clarity does the structure a little bit and now for the highlight and the um, shadows i like to increase um yeah decrease the white a little bit just because we have some clipping and i'm going to leave it because clipping is not actually happening on the highlight okay so we have less highlight if you check the graph it's actually less bringing this down just a little bit okay so turn on the exposure warning and you can see we still have just a little exposure but that don't need to pull yourself apart that now we brought the picture you no know, to life looking all good okay for the darks let's see if we can add some contrast to it and bring back the blacks a little bit to create more dimension for the shadows is there any shadows okay no that doesn't seem okay so let's bring it down a little bit also for the shadows and let's see our before and then our after so not a big difference in the image all right so now we're going to go to photoshop and then we're going to edit more of the photo and if you want to do some color grading and i would like to do one more that i just you know see just now i'm going to select the background and for the background let's I think I mistakenly selected the air, so I'm going to undo that and then select the background again. So we've got the background selected, and what I want to do with the background, I want to make the uh, the model pop out more. And this time around, for making that happen, I'm going to decrease the brightness of that background. Yeah, just like so. Or you can actually decrease the exposure too and nothing more nothing more saturation yeah let's decrease the saturation okay so now let's go to the editor tool and to make the um, background more even let's go to the skin texture make it more even i want it to be like something like this so very dark i'm just going to leave that alone and i'm going to increase the hue of that and increase the saturation increase everything i have there so lightness i just want to blend everything you know together so something like that if that's too much you can actually bring it back just a little bit and you know the saturation of that okay so let's see the before and then the after all right so that's actually a little bit too much so just bring it down and then go to the editor to if the um exposure is actually to to down okay so i believe i don't want to see those halos so that looks fine to me seven is exposed i don't want it exposed look i already desaturated so we can actually leave it like that just a little bit of saturation all right so now let's go to photoshop
All right, so let's continue with the tutorial. Here we are in Photoshop and uh, trying to complete the image. I'm just going to move this right here. So we'll see what we're doing on the left. Unlock this image. So I want to uh, work on the texture and the color, not the color, kind of the color too, because it's not actually you know, fully blended, but to the extreme, that's where we can go. So let's start with frequency, you no know, separation kind of thing. Um, Control J twice, and then name this one color. And if you have a frequency separation action, you can actually do skip this point texture, and then you turn this off. Turn go to the color, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then I'm gonna blur it. That's too much, just a little bit. Uh, okay, so just like so. I want more details, more details to be shown. So let's leave it at four. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Okay, so now turn on this one and then let's go to image, apply image, apply image, and yeah, select the texture, come here, go to subtract and scale to um, 128 and then click. Okay, so we've actually se and separated the texture and the color. So what we're gonna do is select the texture, change the blending mode to linear light. Let's group the two together and open up for the texture layer. Remember, clone stand two for the color layer, mixer to brush. All right, so let's start with the color first of all, or uh, whichever one you wanna do. So I'm gonna just click and then blend the image skin together of which we've already done that. So just to, you know, do the one of Photoshop, remember, don't touch this, you know, highlight. Those highlights, I don't like, you know, blending those sides because it's actually going to kill the dodge and the bone of the image, the natural dodge, natural highlight of the image. So just, you know, blend as far as you've actually blurred it in, a lot you don't need to worry about some of this you know space and that's why i like blending it a lot when i want to do that so i i don't worry myself that uh, i'm not going in the direction i'm about i'm actually going because the texture is just there to cover up okay so beneath the eyes i'm just going to do that Let's take from outside so as to make it uniform. And this one I'm gonna take from outside here. Yeah. So something like that feels okay to me. All right, just because I'm using mouse, okay? Let's do some work. Let's see how before and after before, and you can see after. All right, that's looking amazing already. Okay, so now let's fix the texture with the clone stamp too and something you just need to take note of is uh yeah i'm going to choose this skin texture right here beneath our nose and i'm just going to use that for almost everywhere of the image you see what i got all right so i've done some frequency separation so you don't need to go to add on the image just because you need to correct so much uh you just actually need to make it look a little bit okay and natural so this is what we have from year to year if you're not okay with the skin texture you can actually create artificial skin texture but i think i'm just going to make a eyes you know whiter this time around so for us to do that and uh, the normal method i normally use let's use the normal method which is a photo filter first of all choose the um color filter the blue one on which you can see right here and then create another black and white image black and white okay so this one combine the two together if it doesn't work let's mask it first of all invert the mask if you don't like that method you can use the divide tool i guess i have that tutorial on the channel so let's use the brush tool brush and then let's paint with white to you know review not everywhere just on our teeth and then we have something like this make the brush smaller to get 
everything you need to have so something like this looks fine to me and then for the eyes also you need to remove that if that's too much you need to get some of the colors there so also yeah i'm gonna eat x and then this more part of our eyes and then we have it like this okay you can see that's actually looking beautiful unlike before so if you feel like you want to decrease your opacity just a bit so i guess i need the full opacity let's leave it as somewhere as 90 no let's leave it 90 yeah, 100 is actually looking good and okay so this is where we're going to end the tutorial if you want to create um, some color uh, color balance you can actually do that but i guess this is what i'm going to stop for the sake of the tutorial i don't want it to be you know too long all right so if i thought i want to go on i'm going to make this a uh, hair you know more darker just like this one of which we can do that in capture one but we just want to get the natural look all right so if you enjoy the content we post don't forget to subscribe if you not subscribed and don't forget to share and don't forget to like hit the notification bell to get notified on the next video coming up